Aqua Soul family, what it do with your girl? And for 777 here today with a general love message from my Aquarius Soul family, Aqua Gang. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. These messages are general, of course, so they may or may not resonate with every single Aquarius. Just take what resonates with you and leave the rest for whoever it's here for, okay? Cross watchers, place yourself where you belong in the story. Holy angels and spirit guys, please give us exactly what we need to know for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Take a moment and click that like button, guys, okay? It's free, you know what I'm saying? It helps the channel, however, in a tremendous way. So I appreciate those of you who do it every single time. Y'all be holding a girl down. I truly appreciate you. All right, click that subscribe button if you have not already done so, okay? Become a part of our family officially, as well as the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload for your sign, okay? So we're gonna do things a little bit differently today here, guys, okay? Feel the need intuitively. Let's do our read this way today. We're gonna be using the Muse Tarot deck, okay? I'm not really sure which energies to tap into first. This is why we're doing this reading this way. I do feel a lot coming towards me at once. It does feel like a lot of energy at once just kind of rushing out at me, almost as if somebody has something very important to say, or maybe it's not so important, but they want to be important, that sort of energy. Like this could possibly be someone who you prioritize and you don't prioritize anymore. And now they have this sense of urgency to become important to you again. <laughs> That's what I feel. Definitely what I feel. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, that just kind of flipped over. What's the first card out? Ooh, yep, we have the five of swords for sure. Somebody wants to argue. Somebody wants something. They want attention. Like, you're not paying them any attention. Okay? This is their current emotional state. Like, they want to fight. They want a battle. They want you to at least say something to them. Right? Right now, they're battling themselves. You're making them argue with themselves. You may not be communicating with this person at this juncture. Um... If you are communicating with them, then you're not falling for their traps, right? Because I feel like this is somebody who's been trying to trigger you. They just want some kind of reaction. This this is somebody who's seeking a reaction. Yeah, see, six of wands. This person, that's the way that they are aiming to win at this game that they're playing, right? This is a game that's going on in their own mind. Wow, what childish behavior are we dealing with here? This person wants like, uh, 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 an extreme amount of attention with this six of wands this is like they want a parade they want cookies they want parties they want to go to Chuck E. Cheese they want you know a gift hot air balloons that like right now by any means necessary because I feel like this person has been trying to get your attention for quite some time at one point in time this person was able to garner your attention rather easily until you kind of got hip to their attention seeking strategies right so we have the moon card yeah you became very clear about what this person was doing maybe you felt like this was an emotional manipulator or somebody who tried to manipulate your energy get you to care about them right as we know uh aquarians we are the kings and queens of indifferent energy people hate it they hate the detachment or how quick that can come especially if at one point in time you were feeding into this person's um i guess it's like a drama queen or something right drama king drama queen something they have a crown but it's all about drama you see what i'm saying there's definitely something hidden here that this person um is possibly trying to keep hidden from you is what i'm feeling Maybe this person doesn't know that you are hit to their game just yet, right? It's something about like keeping you in the dark, keeping you in the dark about what they're really about. What is this mess? Here's what I will say. It feels like this person at some point in time may have offered you something, right? We have the page of pentacles. Yeah. And this person felt like that should have been enough to kind of, um, hold their place you know it's like a placement holder here's what i'm hearing intuitively you guys this moon card is in direct conjunction with this page of uh, pentacles card i feel like the reason why this person got reactions out of you before is because you were actually still attached to it you were still actually emotionally invested you actually gave a damn 
I, I do believe that that has changed at this juncture. Um, it, it does feel like they try to mask their their true intentions in some way. This is somebody who possibly seeks to give you, you know, a little bit at a time. Page of uh, Pentacles is the card of breadcrumbing, right? It's a pentacle, no less, but it's very small. It's a very small offer. You know, they wanted you to be excited and they wanted a parade, right? With this six of wands right above it, they wanted a cookie, they wanted a party, they wanted a parade, they wanted lots of accolades and um, attention for like the bare minimum, you know? Can I say something, Aquarius? Please don't beat me up. <laughs> don't beat me up. I feel like initially, that the tactic might have worked because it was just the beginning stages of the relationship so you weren't expecting much at that juncture but then you know eventually it just you started to realize that it was not coming together the way that you thought it would you know they weren't coming through the way that you thought they would have eventually yeah, it, there was no natural progression and growth of this relationship. It, it just consistently stayed at this very small, 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 small offer. I mean. So could it be that this person tried to create some kind of conflicting energy within you that made you feel like you deserved this small offer? It almost feels like they tried to mask that, that, that they wanted you to believe that this offer was okay. Page of Pentacles, right? It's a very, very small offer, guys. It's, it's nothing, actually. Okay? It's the bare minimum. And this is something that they thought would take them all the way, you guys, okay? Yeah, so we have the Four of Cups as well as the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So this is somebody who was seeking to um, sort of keep you attached to an outcome, right? It gives the timeline of somebody who wanted things to go on long enough in order for, your emo for you to become emotionally involved, emotionally invested, and emotionally investing in this person or investing in general in this connection, while also masking the value of what they were wanting to add to you or add to this connection. It's almost as if this is somebody who maybe just talked about what they would do and not actually do it, right? There was no actual action behind it with this offer. It was a lot of talk about where things would go and what things would be. Yeah, it's also giving me the energy of somebody who maybe envied, you know, your worth like envied how much you were how much you valued yourself right so they were seeking to either mask what they were actually giving to this connection by stalling pretty much yes especially with this four of cups here okay this is to get you up in your head to make you not realize they did not want this to come to light that you were essentially giving your entire cup to this connection and they were giving you like an outline of a cup, like an invisible cup, you see? This is the four of cups or four of emotions in this deck, but this is not an actual cup and look how disparaging this character looks. They seem to be in great despair, right? Because of everything that they poured in, they can't quite understand what is happening, right? There, this person's offer or cup was most certainly an optical illusion. It's almost as if they were seeking to steal your time, guys. Mm-hmm. Because we have this ace of wands in the reverse, which is wands are all about action and aces are all about new beginnings. So going towards someone new, someone who can who, who's actually on your level and can actually offer you something greater than what this person would have ever offered. I don't care what they told you they were bringing. I don't care what they told you they were doing. I don't care what they told you, you the two of you were going to be or accomplish or have. You know, it was all an optical illusion. You see what I'm saying? It was all masked by darkness. So I feel like this five of swords is also conflicting energy with inside of you also. You may be conflicted in reference to whether it's not... 
a good whether it's a good move or not to move beyond this or to count your losses right you don't want it to be a missed opportunity because i feel like this person made this small offer look so good so razzled they like razzle dazzled it you know bedazzled the shit out of that offer and it was just it turned out to be nothing or it will don't beat me up <laughs> Right, because tarot is fluid, guys. So this could be something from the past or something that is currently transpiring as well as something predictive of the future. Yeah, you're quiet. And this is bothering this person. You figured it out. That's what I am gonna say. You, you have or you will be figuring this out. There will be enough times where you have placed your hand out to receive from this person because you've given quite a bit and it's just, you know, not enough to even, not enough to satisfy nobody, you know, not even an infant. It's, it's just a very, very small amount, whatever this person is giving. I mean, it's almost as if in this connection you were starved. So you just went quiet. There's sort of a silent wisdom about this decision that you've made. Your intuition is at its highest peak. It may have been blocked for some time and that's why this Ace of Wands is at the bottom of the deck, but I do feel senses of urgency to move beyond this cycle. That there are blessings beyond this cycle that you do not yet know about, right? This is also within this moon card. There was a lot of unknown going on. Of course, if you know that your manifestations and your blessings are ahead, then it's a no brainer. But if it's in the darkness and then you have somebody who is emotionally manipulating you by giving you breadcrumbs, feeding you, you know, false hopes or telling you, you know, talking to you about what they can and will do. Um, and these things that this person was talking about are actually things that you wanted to hear. It's almost as if they were feeding you words, not really actions, just words about what they would provide. And it was satisfying for a moment there, right? You, you were satisfied with that for an extended amount of time for some of you. So this is why they're now wanting any reaction at all. You know, it's anything. This person is now the one being starved, I feel. You're starving this person of attention. Um, I do believe that this person was all talk. I just have to be very honest, okay, guys? It, it definitely gives me the energy of somebody who they knew that they were reaching, right? Reaching above, reaching for the stars, trying to um, cultivate a connection and a relationship with you. But they loved the attention that you were giving them. You know, it almost became an addictive quality with this six of wands. This person loved, you know, how you complimented them and how you made them look, right? To brag about you, all of that. Um, it was just such a flex for this person to be, even be involved with you. If you met any of their friends, nobody knows how they pulled you. I'm just saying, right? Everyone else can see that you're out of their league, <laughs> you know? So if you have just gone silent on this person, cut them cold turkey, in a sense, there is a, a, a sense of urgency to just ramp up communication all of the sudden, you know, by any means necessary. So this person may definitely come in with some triggering words, right? Arguing, that sort of thing. They do think that you're involved with other people. That may also be something that bothers them. The Lovers is about dating getting back out there a connection right or two in this positioning i feel like this person feels like they are in competition with another love interest right this is something that they have been trying to avoid the way that they feel they were going to avoid this is by masking their actual value with this moon card and what they could actually provide and they masked that with the right words you know giving you the right words and saying the right things and telling you what you know everything they had planned and what they'll do and you know this is the person who has all the get rich quick schemes and they're starting a new business every year and you know it's just very all over the place energy and people they do have the ability to get people to listen <laughs> and believe them to a certain extent
it was always going to be this page of pentacles energy that this person was able to provide. That's all they can provide. That's the end of that. That's the only thing that they have to offer. They have not progressed beyond a certain point to be able to offer anything else. That sex and possibly some romance, you know. And for a while that was enough, but I feel like for the page to be in the positioning of pentacles, you want stability, you want growth, you want a connection that you could feel comfortable in and somebody that you can partner up with somebody who will do just as much work as you will and somebody who has the same goals and the same morals same thoughts somebody who's also able to carry the torch just in case you're down right like but it feels like this person only had like either sex love emotions or whatever it was just lacking in this foundational area right this secure area. This person might not have a job. They may not have a lot of money. This could be somebody who is, who's a little bit obsessed with you because of how much financial wealth you do possess or you will be possessing, right? For sure. And, and they, they may want to woo you, you know, out of some of that abundance. They want you to place the value more on the emotional connection or the physical connection rather than their actual ability to help you build this shit, build a foundation or be secure in, you know, with money. Now, if that works for you, then who am I to judge, right? But I just get the idea that this is something that they tried to keep hidden. So obviously, they're missing something that you would have wanted out of partnership. So they either pretended to be that or they just said the right things to make you think that they would be able to provide that. And after a while, you were just sitting there waiting for this imaginary cup to show up and it just never came. They kept coming with page of pentacles, page of pentacles. So how many rounds did you have with this person? It definitely feels like there were separations, right? Then the two of you would connect again with the lovers. There, there may have been lots of sexual chemistry between the two of you, right? Or physical attraction. And then they would come in with these emotions and this, the, the, the sweetest shit, right? Sweet things, sweet nothings, whispering sweet nothings in your ear, which would allow them an avenue back in, but they wouldn't keep out, right? They wouldn't leave out the fact that I'm gonna change. Um, I'm growing. I started a new business. Oh yeah, I'm coming into this huge amount of money. I'm coming into an inheritance. I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And this is how I'm gonna get rich. And you know, I wanna take you with me and all of this other stuff, right? Like just pipe dreams. And then before you know it, you're wondering where this abundance is that they were talking about how they got you to come back in and you're like but where is it is it just imaginary or what and they always just come with the page of pentacles it's a little crumb a little baby crumb you were very confused in this connection because I feel like this person played up on the emotional aspect more than the actual value that you're looking for in a partnership. They wanted to place the most value on that. You know, get you stuck emotionally so that you forget about all of the other things that are needed to like survive in life, you know? Yeah, so this is how they feel you have affected things. We have the chariot. This is right above the high priestess. So there is a quiet strength within you and a quiet wisdom. And that has allowed you to reinstate your power. I don't feel like you gave up your power and control, but you sat down for a minute to try and make sense of things. And when things didn't make sense, you had to come to your own conclusions via your intuition. And then you got on the move with the chariot. So they do want to stop you from moving into this next cycle. I do feel like there is a newer love interest right on the brink, especially with the lovers here and the Ace of Wands in the reverse. This person either thinks that you're already dealing with someone else, right? Which is detrimental to their ego, 
their soul and their being. This person has put a lot of value on being able to possess you. And having the ability to have somebody so abundant be with someone like me, right? It's just like this sense of pride that they had. So either you are dealing with someone new, they feel like you are, but you really aren't, or they can feel energetically, that's what's coming next, right? Because all along, their intuition was telling them to stop you from going into this next cycle. There's a very, very uh, fiery connection in this next cycle for you. I just feel that. We will have new love in the extended in order for me to confirm that, but I do feel it. And that's that, that will be the death of them. I'm just saying, right? The death of that ego is coming very quickly after. So this is why I feel like it's imperative for this person to move in with some form of not only sense of urgency, but an argument, something to get you emotionally attached or something to give them the idea that you still care. Yeah. We have the sun. It's almost as if this person definitely knows that without them you are going towards the sun this is the this person is the moon they they brought darkness to you you guys unfortunately right um lots of lack of clarity um confusion chaos just don't know what's happening don't know if this relationship is coming or going don't know if i'm being added to or not like am i overreacting am i asking for too much i mean the questions are endless And it's almost as if this person wants to keep you from going into this full-blown er um, era of clarity and happiness. They themselves are not happy, you guys. I feel like you were their source of happiness, and that's a burden. You can't be somebody's only source of happiness. You see what I'm saying? And they also were not wanting to change because we have the world at the bottom of the deck. So this person despised growth, change, movement, evolution, and people who have the, the ability to do that naturally and successfully, it does give energy of jealousy or I guess envy. Now with the world, some of you may be moving, okay? It is upon moving that I feel like you will, you would have fully evolved out of this cycle. We have the weight game. Yeah. It may be quite some time before you're able to fully shake this person, however. Okay, because we have the Ten of Swords coming right after a rejection. So I do feel like a great majority of you will be rejecting this. Um, you will be keeping your wits about you. You'll see the benefit of just not engaging. Because I feel like even if you argue back and forth with this person, it could have an effect on your energy. This is what they are aiming to do. Get back in your energy. Because I, I just have to be honest. I feel like for most of you, you've already successfully gotten them out. So this is an attempt to get back in. See, I wish I could take back what I said. What did they say to you? Was it something that this person expressed about the relationship or about you? There was something hurtful that may have been said by this person. For some of you, only take that if it resonates. For others of you, they wish that they would have told the truth initially about who they were so they didn't have to fake Their value so they didn't have to fake yeah they wish they would have told you that they were they paid the pentacles that's all I'm, that's all I'm about that's all you're getting out of me see you act like I was the worst it's the gaslighting for me because I don't care if you were a little bit worse or a lot worse right or the worst None of that resonates with what I want. That's your thoughts, okay? You don't have to be the worst for me to get the fuck up out of Dodge. You weren't the best. You weren't the one. How about that? So it's almost as if this person wanted you to give them more time. <clears throat> 
I feel like time was going to be or could be if you're still involved in this they're hoping that time is the deciding factor of you not bringing this new beginning to fruition yeah they want you to miss it they want you to miss the portal this is crazy That's what they're screaming out. They wanted you to, they wanted you to miss that portal. The world card is here though. So evolution is, pff, it goes without saying. You're definitely, you have already changed. Um, everything is changing. This is an entirely new cycle. You've closed this cycle. They would absolutely live, okay, if they can reopen this cycle. It's already been closed. So this weight game, that is what they wanted. They wanted you to wait it out, wait for them to show up wait for them to show up wait for them to show up and the longer you wait you know the more in danger you are of missing the portal to this next cycle you do have a true connection coming in i feel that intuitively so we had two cards pop out we have perspective see and closing told you is that's changed the meaning of the issue experiences shaping perspective and reflection for change this is what you tapped into your perspective of this totally changed and this is what allowed you to have the clarity and the know um the know-how to to get this chariot moving we have closing see come to the end of a phase the conclusion of something and completion of a cycle you can't make it up but they're trying to reopen it there's an attempt to reopen this cycle um even if you are already involved with someone else and for a great majority of you there is someone new coming in i see it okay let's go over to the extended all right i'm gonna really dig in over there i want to see what shadows could potentially affect the outcome of this what shadows may you still be holding on to subconsciously that could affect the outcome of this because you've already moved beyond right Ugh, i need to know so you can have those under control and we can keep moving forward towards this ace of wands we want this to be in the upright let's see what karma this person is scheduled to face i do feel like they're heading head first towards a karmic cycle especially with this ten of swords um i want to know why did this have to happen meaning what was your lesson in all of this as well as this person's next steps and intentions so you could best prepare prepare yourself we will look at the possible or the best possible outcome on um, whether you decide to re-engage with this or go in the opposite direction um i'm gonna look at both no judgment of course and then we're gonna get right into your new love message so who or what is coming towards you only good only new what is this newest energy what are their purest intentions for you right so you could prepare yourself for that and be sure you're calling in people who are on your same level and frequency let's see if there are any red flags or warnings that you need to look out for in this next cycle what's the chemistry like between the two of you or you may have multiple there i'm just saying for some of you maybe options on options on options so what's the chemistry like what's the romance like in and out of the bedroom what's the potential for things to go all the way and with uh whom which connection is bound to go all the way and into union okay let's also see what blockages could be keeping you visible to toxicity um removing those blockages are going to make you invisible and that's what we need in this next cycle okay let's also get your focus advice on how you can achieve your desired life of fulfillment and happiness whatever that recipe is like for you we do have the sun so how can we get to that soon as possible like asap and lastly we will of course have our very popular ask the universe read okay well i'll give you the floor to ask a couple questions but i'll have more instructions over the in the extended for that okay so let's without further ado head on over there first click that like button as well as the subscribe button okay and i'm gonna put the link down in the description box for the extended and i'm gonna see you over there all right